What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ, and on Saturday night, Long Beach once again in the mid, this time hosting the Pacific Tigers. Demo still in street clothes. The other 49ers ready to go. LA right here. TJ Robinson right here, ready to take on Sons of Stockton. Chad Troyer, Anthony Brown. Pacific sitting at five and four. Long Beach sitting at six and three. So technically, this one is for first place in the Big West and out the gates. Long Beach was playing like it was exactly that. Tough down low. Brian Freeman, big number 24, playing some real good quality minutes in the first part. Uh, Long Beach actually out-rebounded Pacific 39-26 in this one. Cass getting things going. Played her to LA, the up and under. Nice. Speaking of LA, Cass on the break. LAX flight plan. Ooh, nice. Can, can I see that one more time? LA, please. Thank you. da na na 17 to 7 the lead was for Long Beach on defense. They decided to crash down hard on Anthony Brown and it worked early, but Brown found a way to kick it out and Pacific kicked it in. 46% from downtown from Pacific. Half of their points in the first half came from behind the arc. They caught up to Long Beach 32-29 at the half. In the second half, TJ Robinson started to find his groove Kid played 45 minutes tonight, 24 points, 10 rebounds, the old-fashioned double-double, 8 for 9 from the field, but it was back and forth all the way through the second half. 12 ties, 16 lead changes in this one. It wasn't pretty at times, but it was back and forth all the time. Right here, Anthony Brown, you see finding his way. LA, give me some, and one. Larry finished with 20 points, six assists, and six rebounds. He also played 46 minutes, but it was Casper Ware late in the second half. 11 points, nine assists, five for six from the line. It was Casper like a hot knife through butter in the second half, making the cuts. Late in the game, huge possession right here. Game tied, good defense from right there from Cornell Williams forcing Troyer to not take the shot. Shot clock violation. Long Beach has a chance to win it at the end of regulation. Steph Gilling, ooh, not meant to be. We're going to overtime. The Maniacs are ready. Let's get this thing going. Troyer only hit three threes on the night, but that one was a huge one. Casper, can we put Casper in the small but mighty category? The bucket right there, the rebound, and then, no thanks, fellas, I don't need any help. I'm just gonna, oh, dish it off right there to LA. Another and one for Larry. Brown, though, continuing to bang down low. Anthony finished with 11 points and five rebounds. Ooh, nice three right there from Cornell. Big three right there from Cornell. But the other side, Brown again. That bucket would tie it at 74 with 13 seconds left. Long Beach, one last chance. The tip out to Cass. He said it felt good off of his hand, but ooh, not meant to be. Let's wind it up and do it again. Second overtime. LA at the start hits this three, but number 15, Terrell Smith took it over. 18 points in the game, seven for nine from the field. Big and ones right there to put Pacific in the lead. Casper says, anything you can do, I can do better. Gets to the line, hits his free throws. Again, Terrell looks like he doesn't get fouled right there. Ball don't lie in the mid, kids. He misses both free throws. Coming down on the other end, Casper gets to the line again. And yes, one time, two times. 81 to 80, Pacific with one last chance. Have to say the nay no. Off the rim, Long Beach, winner, winner, chicken parm dinner. How about them baby beach boys? The freshmen coming through. Casper, TJ, LA, 46, 46, 45 minutes. They did it tonight without their leading scorer at home. It wasn't easy, it wasn't always pretty, but ooh, did it feel good. Long Beach sitting atop the Big West at seven and three now. Isn't it so fun to watch these kids grow up? They hit the road next week at Riverside and at Fullerton. This free throws basically gone through my mind. My dad, because he always used to preach to me, oh, it's always going to come down to less of free throws, and you got to be ready to hit them, pretty much. I just kept thinking about that. We're excited for this one. If we would have lost, we would have been down. That would be four straight at home. And we always, we always um, came to this game with a mindset that we, we can't lose because we can't lose three, four straight at home and still be on top. So we're still number one and we feel great. This one is a great boost for us.